Hello and welcome back to Overbooked. I'm Amanda and today I have a quick little book haul to do. Now I usually don't do book hauls on my channel because I'm not super into buying a lot of books. Um, I usually use my library but for Christmas I got a Barnes Noble gift card so we went to Barnes Noble and we got some books. Actually the whole time I was in Barnes Noble it made me think of like the whole conversation around consumerism and booktube which I've watched a ton of videos on and I'm super fascinated with the topic and I would I kind of want to dig into that topic myself but I don't know if it's been too overdone so let me know in the comments below if you would be interested in hearing my perspective of booktube and consumerism and yada 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 I don't know if I have enough like expertise or enough experience or knowledge on it but I just like I find it a fascinating topic so for the books we only have four because your girl only had so much to work with and books are kind of expensive i didn't realize how much they were so that's kind of crazy so we got lead from the outside how to build your future and make real change by stacy abrams um i'm just really inspired by stacy abrams i'm like on the stacy abrams train right now i think she's an amazing person i mean she like organized so many like voters, black voters in Georgia to come out on top this year, not just for the Senate election, but for the presidential race. And I just am in awe of her. I think she's amazing. So this is kind of like a book that she wrote about leadership and taking charge. And um, I just am very intrigued to read it. Um, and so when I, I've actually never heard of it, so I found it at Barnes Noble. So um, I am very excited to dig into this. I don't know if I'll get to it this year or when I'll get to it, so, but I'm just glad I have it and it will be read. Okay, so I've seen this around um, Bookstagram, I think a lot more than I have Booktube, but it's called The Address Book, What Street Addresses Review Reveal About Identity, Race, Wealth, and Power. And I just think this is gonna be really interesting as well. So this talks about how um, street addresses were like made to be able to find you and categorize you and just talking about in many parts of the world an address can reveal uncomfortable truths about race and class so i'm excited about this i think that like the whole like redlining and like redistricting and like having like these distinct separate groups of people interests me and how that comes to be and how that gets to be set up. So I'm very intrigued by this book and to see what I can learn from it. So also very excited about this one. Okay, I've also seen this all over Bookstagram. I've seen, I think I've seen this more over Bookstagram than Booktube. But this is Memorial by Brian Washington. Um, he's the author of Lot, which I've also heard about but I've not read. Um, so this is about, I believe a Japanese and a black man, Japanese man and a black man who are in this relationship, kind of a, like a longer term relationship. And some events happen and then they have to start like rip, grappling with their relationship and like how to move forward, um, what's next for them, like how they can adapt their love in the ways that they've changed and grown, um, which I just think is fascinating. I think it's really interesting to read about people who grow and are in relationships and how that either can like you know tear that relationship apart or it can make them grow closer um i don't know it's very intriguing so i was reading the cover when i was at barnes noble i thought it, it sounded great um i'm terrible at, like this is why i don't do tbrs anymore <laughs> because i'm just terrible at describing the book because i don't really know what's about really when i pick it up i just like rely on other people telling me what it's about or that it's good and then i'll read it but um, for the most part, that's what I believe it's about, and I am just so excited because I know there are so many, like, just great things said about this book, so I am very excited. Okay, and then the last book, I was looking for either one or two cookbooks that I wanted to pick up, um, and I'm very happy that I snagged this one, um, Salt, Fat, Acid, Heat, Mastering the Elements of Good Cooking. I think that I am not a great cook. I don't know much about cooking. I don't know the basics about cooking. So this is definitely not something I'm gonna be like, just like in one sitting reading. I think that, you know, maybe once a weekend or like every other weekend, I'll like, you know, pick it up and kind of just browse and try to get to see what I can get from it. I did watch the Salt, Fat, Acid, Heat 
thing on Netflix. I enjoyed that. Um, I just really, really am intrigued. I've heard really great things about this cookbook and just the lessons that you learn just about cooking in general, like the basics and everything. So I'm just really excited to just have this as a staple because I would, I wanted to like buy this to have for just my home always. So excited about that. I was really just bum disappointed, bummed, bummed, disappointed. So for the 2021 Reading Women Challenge, um, it is to read a cookbook by a woman of color, which I think this would meet that, but I really did want to check out Indianish. Oh my gosh, now I cannot read. Uh, Priya from, uh, she used to be on Bon Appetit. And I was really hoping I could find that cookbook there and I did not find it. And um, so I don't know, I'm hoping um, that I can either find that at my library and if I really enjoyed that cookbook, maybe I'll um, look for that and um, purchase that later. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I also just wanna say, as much as I was very appreciative of my gift card and really, it, w it was fun to like, go and like buy books. Um, it was kind of a treat. I was very disappointed by like the selection or like what was on display at Barnes and Noble. It was interesting because I made like a whole loop, right? And I was like trying to find like the sale section to try to really make my gift card go longer. And I found like, there was like this corner that like, didn't, like, didn't get a lot of traffic. And I was like, oh, that must be like the sale section. It was the anti-racist book table that was that like that was hidden away. I like did not even realize it until I, I come, came upon it. I had a tiny sign and I was like, what is this doing here? This should be in the middle of the store, as accessible to everyone, very eye-catching, something that you see right away. I just kind of was disappointed by that positioning. And then I also was kind of disappointed because I've started trying to join the um, Book of Sens, um book club and she's all about reading Caribbean and reading more authors of color and I cannot get her next two books from my library and so I was hoping that I could get them at Barnes & Noble and they had neither one of them and it was just kind of like um disappointing because I found like I you know there was a whole table on like historical fiction and it was like you know all just white authors like just all like you know pretty much every like the the Alice Network or the Nightingale like made 50 million times over on a table and just other tables like that it was just I found it, it just to be disappointing yeah I don't know I I just I don't know I I things that I I realized where I like I how do I say this <laughs> just something I just didn't really like real I don't think I've ever really thought about before um but kind of sad. I don't know. Um, so if you are like looking and shopping for books, make sure that you're like looking all over, pick up other authors of color, pick up books that you don't normally want to pick up. I think that if you keep buying books of like a certain author, like let's say no one was buying Memorial, I think if you keep going in and buying it, like not saying you're gonna buy 50 copies, but that makes them, it prompts them to know that they have to buy, get more copies in stock. So um, I guess I should have requested that or been like, oh, hey, do you guys have this book? And that was on me, but just something to think about, I guess, when you're browsing a bookstore, like where is everything positioned and like what books are they like pushing to you? It was interesting. I don't know. So those were the books I got. I'm very excited. I'm very, very excited. Super excited about this. I mean, I'm excited about all of them. I'm just excited. I'm actually very, um, how many times can I say excited? I'm excited because Chandler and I are moving and I don't know how fast or how quickly I can get a library card. So these actually might be able to tide me over in the meantime. And all the other books I have. But, you know, I don't know. In the comments below, let me know what was the last book that you bought. Um, I'd love to hear. Are you excited about it? What is it? I want to hear about it. Um, and if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time.